Welcome dear friend dog lover. Thank you in advance for visiting my channel dedicated to the happiness and health of dogs. Today we are going to deal with a very important issue and it is worms on dogs poop. Dogs and cats are victims of several intestinal parasites frequently referred to as worms. The most common are the roundworms, hookworms, whipworms and tapeworms. Of these four only two are commonly seen in the stool with the unaided eye, roundworms and tapeworms. Here are the 11 most common symptoms of worms in dogs. 1. Coughing One of the advanced stage symptoms of heartworms in a dog is coughing. Dogs with hookworms and roundworms may also develop a cough. 2. Vomiting Dogs that have worms will often throw up. Roundworms can sometimes show up in a dog's vomit. 3. Diarrhea Soft stools and canine diarrhea can be the result of worms. In addition to diarrhea, dogs with hookworms may have blood in their stools. 4. Low energy dogs that are lethargic and less active than normal may be showing symptoms of having worms. 5. Pot bellied appearance If your dog starts to appear pot bellied or bloated, it may have contracted worms. This is commonly seen in puppies that have picked up worms from their mother. 6. Change in appetite If you notice a sudden change in your dog's appetite, he may have come into contact with roundworms. Dogs that are infected often lose their appetite. As worms steal a dog's nutrients, a dog with worms may also show a sudden increase in hunger. 7. Weight loss If your dog shows signs of rapid weight loss, he may have a tapeworm or a whipworm. 8. Dull coat A healthy dog should have a shiny thick coat. If your dog's coat begins to dull and dry out, he may have picked up a form of worms. Loss of hair or the appearance of rashes can also denote worms. 9. Itching and signs of skin irritations Dogs that show signs of skin irritation may have a severe infestation of worms. 10. Rubbing its bottom on the ground or scooting. While this can often be caused by problems with the anal glands, dogs with worms will occasionally rub their rear ends on the floor in order to relieve themselves of the itch due to worms in the area. 11. Visible worms in fur or fecal matter Some worms, such as tapeworms may appear as small moving segments in the fur or area around dog's anus. Roundworms can often be seen in a dog's stools. If you suspect worms in your dog if left untreated, worms can damage your dog's internal organs and lead to loss of consciousness and death. If you suspect that your dog has worms, take it to your nearest veterinary office. Most intestinal worms are easy to treat and your veterinarian will prescribe a medication based on the diagnosis. Heartworm disease, however, can be expensive and difficult for your dog, so the best treatment is administration of a monthly preventive medication, which can also prevent other worm infections. Consult with your vet for recommendations for your dog. What to do if there are worms in your dog's poop? Different types of parasitic worms can infect your dog and cause debilitating illness and discomfort, but by checking regularly for signs of worms, you can protect your pet from undue pain and long-term problems. When parasitic worms get inside your pet's digestive tract, they cause suffering and severe medical problems. One of the best ways to check whether your dog is infested is to regularly check for worms in your dog's poop, that's right, as unpleasant as it may sound you should be looking for worms and eggs in your dog's feces. If you spot them, contact your vet to start treatment as soon as possible. Here's what to look for. Hookworms causing malabsorption, dehydration, diarrhea, and anemia. Dogs usually acquire hookworms and other parasites by eating feces containing the worms. However, hookworms can also burrow into your dog's skin, entering at the paw pads from contaminated soil. A dog with hookworms may have loose, dark, or bloody stool, and suffer from weight loss and dehydration. At those signs, your vet will need to check your dog's stool. If hookworms are found, you can treat your pet with Drontal, Panicure C for dogs, or another deworming medication. If the infestation is very serious, your dog may need iron therapy and a blood transfusion. While your dog's shedding the hookworms, you should be careful to clean up all feces immediately to ensure that your pet doesn't get reinfected. 
Roundworms Roundworms can infect an adult dog that's ingested the microscopic eggs while grooming, licking off contaminated dirt, by eating an infected rodent, or via coprophagia, the medical term for eating feces. It can take several months for symptoms such as a bloated belly, weight loss or changes to your dog's coat to appear. The most obvious sign will be bouts of diarrhea that contain worms up to several inches long. You'll need to administer several rounds of deworming medication to kill worms in various stages. Be sure to choose a medication that targets roundworms. Whipworm theses string-like parasites cause severe irritation to the intestines and colon. As with other pathogenic worms, keeping your dog away from contaminated soil and poop is the best way to prevent infestation. Because whipworms can survive in their egg stage for up to five years, you should clean up after your pet right away so eggs that pass in dog poop won't contaminate the area. Symptoms of whipworm are very similar to those from other parasitic worms. While dogs pass whipworm eggs in their stool, these are microscopic so a vet needs to examine the feces to make a diagnosis. Treatment includes typical deworming medication. Tapeworms fleas carry tapeworm eggs. If your dog eats one of these fleas, the tapeworm eggs will be ingested. They then hatch and attach themselves to your dog's intestinal tract. If you notice the typical symptoms of a parasitic infestation, diarrhea, weight loss, check your dog's feces for wiggling pieces of a tapeworm or its eggs, which resemble grains of white rice. You should also check your dog's rectum in case pieces of the tapeworm have stuck to the fur. Iverheart Max or another deworming mediation will help to dissolve the tapeworm or paralyze it so it can be excreted. Prevention. Remove feces from your yard or litter box at least once a week. It also important you watch where your dog goes in the neighborhood dog park, these are often infested with intestinal worm larvae. Use the correct wormer under veterinary supervision, and have your dog or cat's feces checked frequently in persistent cases. Do not mix wormers and do not use any wormer if your pet is currently taking any other medication, including heartworm preventative, without consulting the veterinarian. In the case of persistent reinfestations, some veterinarians will prescribe worming treatments on a routine basis all year long. Generally, prescription wormers will be safer and more effective although often more expensive than over-the-counter worm medications. Contact your veterinarian if you see worms on your dog's poop. They can properly diagnose and know how to treat your pet especially your dogs. You're a wonderful person. Wow, you came to the end of this video. Can you please subscribe and activate the bell? If possible we would appreciate you giving us a like. We appreciate it from the heart. Thank you very much and God bless you.